I live by myself in a one-story house that I own. Last year, it was during the summertime, and I was sleeping with the window open a crack to let more cool air in. My bedroom is at the front side of the house, and there's a giant row of large bushes that are along the side of the house, and they stop just at the side of my window. I was woken up from my sleep when I heard the noise of rustling in the bushes. I'm a pretty light sleeper, but with the window open, the noise was rather loud. When I woke up, I looked to the window, but I kept my blinds down just above the roughly three inch crack in the window, so I really couldn't see outside at all. I flicked on the light, which was right at my bedside, and my room then lit up. I got out of bed and went to the window to see, but then I heard more rustling in the bushes. I didn't see anything as I walked over there, and I was quite confident that the noises were caused by an animal, likely a deer. There was a pretty big woods and a park bordering my next door neighbor's backyard, so we would often get all kinds of wild animals wandering in our yards at night. When I got to the window, I lifted up the blinds and looked outside, but still didn't see anything. Whatever had been there was now gone. After that, I just went back to bed. Probably a couple of nights later, almost the exact same thing happened. I was once again sleeping and woke up in the night to the sound of the bushes moving. I had my window open a few inches again, and my blinds mostly down. Everything was just as it had been all week. I sat up and turned my lights on again. I looked to the window and just barely saw movement of something going away. I couldn't tell what it was at all because of how dark it was, but I had a feeling that maybe it wasn't an animal, but a person. I went over to the window and looked out of it again, but they were gone. This time, I closed the window and locked it and put the blinds down all the way. I was able to go back to bed after that without a problem. I was telling myself it was just an animal, but I just had a creepy feeling that it wasn't. The very next night, I was up late. It was a Friday night and I was watching TV in my bed. I hadn't put my blinds down yet because I wasn't ready to go to sleep. It was probably around one o'clock in the morning and I saw something out of the corner of my eye. I turned and looked to the window. That's when I saw a man standing right there facing me, looking directly at me. He was wearing a white t-shirt and had long, sort of messy hair and a slight beard. When I saw him, he didn't run away. Instead, he started to approach the window. I ran out of the room to the farthest away location in the house that I could get to. Then I called the police. When I spoke with them, I told them everything. I even remembered to include how the man was likely at my house other nights too. Meanwhile, I didn't hear any more noises from the window or anything as I waited for the police. And when they arrived, they searched the entire property, but the man was now gone. I talked with them for a while, giving them all the details that I could. But ultimately, they left with me not feeling that much better. My only hope was the fact that the police showed up would scare the man from coming back. The next night, everything was fine. But the night after that, I woke up in the night to noise again. My window was closed now, so I would no longer hear the bushes moving. This time, I woke up to the sound of a bang against my bedroom window. It was a loud noise as if somebody was trying to break the glass. I turned my light on and sat up. In the past, that scared the man off. But this time, it didn't. I heard another loud bang on the window. I couldn't see the guy because my blinds were closed, but I knew he was there, and I called the police again and ran out of the room. I couldn't believe how this guy would not leave me alone. There was then another loud bang from the window, and then another one moments later. This time, I heard the glass starting to break. I was so nervous that I ran to the front door and grabbed my keys. The next bang broke more glass, and the man was sure to get inside the house now. When I started to hear movement near the window, I opened my front door quietly, went outside, closed the door, and then sprinted out for my car. When I got inside, I started it and drove away from there. I drove around the block in nearby neighborhoods until I got another call from the police saying that they were there. When I returned, to my surprise, they had caught the man. It was a huge relief to me. He had broken into my house and smashed my window and apparently was searching through the house for me and was found in my basement.